Hello everyone, Kevil here once again, and we are not doing Morph Moth. No sir, I cannot be forced to. I've had traumatic experiences with moths. They terrify me. There is no possible way I... Who the hell is... Oh, it's my agent. Just a minute. Mac, I'm doing an update. Can it wait? No, I told you before. I'm not fighting him. You, you can't cut my pay. I don't get paid. No, I told you before. I'm not gonna fight him. I... Modophobia. No, I wasn't kidding. They scare the hell out of me. I can't even enter a room with those little sons of... What? Whoa, what? You got... Huh? You've got who? No, that wasn't part of the deal. No, that... You... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just don't... Just please, please. Don't hurt her. Please. Yes, okay. Please, just please, please, please. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Um, I have a bit of a situation. I will be back shortly. Um, yeah. All right, I'm back, and it looks like I have no choice. It's time to finish off X2 with Morph Moth. His background is unknown, but we do know that he lives in the robot junkyard, resurrects old fallen reploids, and gives me the heebie-jeebies. Ugh. Ugh. He attacks with a silk shot and an endless supply of, well, junk. Much of which you can see in the stage. Little met helmets and stuff like that. Kind of neat, I think. Oh. This is a hanged reploid. You definitely want to hit the head of that back one. You have to dash jump from the back area to actually get that, though. Here, gravity is reduced, so we have a better shot at them. They are vulnerable everywhere, but their head will kill them instantly. Simply blowing off their body doesn't do anything, but if you blow off body then noose, then you got something going. Still, they are like zombies. Cut off the head, the body will die. I think that also applies to most government organizations and snakes. And people. Garakuda Robot. It's made up of old parts from X1 robots. We'll see more of it later. I think it's made up of uh, dig labor, spiky... Mole bore and Mets. I, I don't think I missed anything, is that all? This is the Pararoid S38, which has taken over an old robot. You can't make the name like that up, that's actually what it's called. P old robot. He, he likes to stay low to the ground, shoot him down before he dives back again, which you will know he's doing when he starts flapping in the air. Otherwise, he'll grab up another old robot. There are also other pararoids. I just killed a V1, and these are R5. Use gravity to your advantage here to get around very easily, and make sure you take out the R5s before they dash at you. Here's more V1s. If they latch onto you, they will make you shoot, jump, or, well, here we get to see it. Here's jump. I think they like jump the most. Shoot, jump, or dash crazily. And more Garakuda robots. As you can see, they have three layers of defense, and they can regenerate those upper two. Okay, whoa, I've got another one, and he's making me shoot. Shooting I actually like. There's nothing faster than a pararoid making you shoot. Couple more here, and on to another pararoid S38. Coming straight out of the ground with the old robot. Whoa. I charged, but it didn't hit anything, so I'm not going to count that. Still a perfect run. Careful of the affected gravity, because it will also affect your enemies. I'm not sure if it actually affects pararoids, though. And he's down before he had a chance to go into the ground. Hmm. The torso of the old robot is what's vulnerable, and bargain bin of pararoids. Move slowly and precisely. Take out every pararoid as you see it, because there are a lot of flying ones. Okay, that's the last of the flying ones, so we're good. Cannon Driver! That was a close one. He's very close to you, so timing is crucial there. Either way, it's about the same as Wheel Gator's stage. And we're on to Morph Moth. He actually starts out in a cute little cocoon. Although, ironically, the one I'm not afraid of is the most dangerous. When he's swinging like this, whoa! He will throw destructible junk at you. You can shoot it, but since it's usually coming from above, that's not exactly a good idea. 
Okay, he's doing that. He can spiral junk around at you. He always does that after dropping down. He actually has a fairly easy pattern. The only difficult part is hitting him, or, uh, sorry, avoiding his endless supply of junk. Whoa, there's too much of it, I tell you. Okay. He is invincible while spiraling around the ground. Okay, he's doing that again. And careful, because he is getting... Bigger! Oh my gosh. That was a close one. The fact that he's getting bigger makes it so you really have to jump high to avoid his shots. But I think he's almost into desperation mode. Okay, I think I can get him down to his desperation mode. Desperation mode, he actually turns back into a moth. Here you want to stand in the bottom left corner. Oh, I hope I can get this right. He's actually a lot easier to predict. When he stops moving, jump upwards or dash under him. You cannot be harmed except by his laser. And he cannot shoot his laser up or behind him. So his second form is really, despite being a frightening moth, a lot easier to deal with. Just take him out cautiously. And one more hit. Come on, please don't. Yes! Ah, oh, Morph Moth is down. My nightmare is over. Hmm. He's a lot scarier than I make him out to be, mostly for the fact that, like I've said before, moths terrify me. Uh, killing him gives us the silk shot, which doesn't really do anything with silk. It will attract parts from the stage you're on. Firing it normally, it'll just launch off some sort of a dirt or junk or whatever's around you. Oh, look, a cutscene. Let's focus on this. I'm sorry, X. One of the X hunters attacked the base and took all of Zero's parts away. If you haven't defeated all of the X hunters, this will happen. So, since we only had the memory chip, didn't take out any of the X hunters, all of the, the memory chip is gone, and they have the full Zero now. They're going to rebuild Zero at their base! I tracked them to location zero, 00, the North Pole. I can't let them tamper with him, Dr. Kane. I've got to save him! And this would transition into the fortress stages, but I'm not going to deal with Sigma's fortress just yet. Like I said in my other video, uh, when I finished off X1, fortress stages, I might do. I probably will do them with weapons, but right now, the only thing I'm focusing on is the eight bosses. We do have some outtakes to deal with, and a few extras, so <laughs> enjoy this as much as I do. I am glad that I finally defeated all the eight robots here.